Hello again YouTube, my name is Hans and welcome to my channel and this episode of Darktable Insights. This is an introduction to Darktable, one of the best tools for organizing and editing your photos. A couple of weeks ago I made an episode about import and metadata and one of my very observant viewers pointed out that I missed something. And that is what this episode is all about. Two weeks ago, I talked about how to import images into Darktable. One of my viewers pointed out that I didn't explain how to import a single image instead of a folder, and that I also forgot to mention some options in the import dialog window. I sincerely apologize for my mistake, and today I will make it right. So here we have uh, the uh, image from uh, last episode. And uh, now if we see in the uh, folder with that image, you can see that I've put a new image there, this one. And uh, we're going to imp import this in two different ways. One is via the folder button, like we imported a whole folder, and the other is via the image button. So if we take the image button first, then we go directly to the uh, to the folder that we had, and here's a new image. This one. This is which what we will import. You just select it and you click open. Here it is. You go directly into doc. It's opened in dark room. So we can start editing. If we go back to light table, we see that it appears in the same collection, in the same in the same film roll. So now we're gonna import it again. First we have to remove it. Go to select images and remove. That means that uh, it's removed from the dark table database. But uh, the image file itself is not deleted. So, and then we can go to folder. This means that Darktable will rescan the same folder. And it sees the old, uh, the old image with the XMP files. It does nothing to them because it knows about them. But uh, this new image will be imported. But before we click open, I'm going to show you a few more things. Here, in uh, Import Options, expand that and we get some new options here. Import directories recursively, that means that if there are more, more folders, directories, inside of this folder that we import, then Darktable will uh, look into those as well and see if there are images there. If, if we check this one. We can also ignore JPEG files. So if you have uh, JPEG files in this folder, let's say you use uh, both RAW and JPEG in your camera and import both, and you only want to open the uh, RAW files in Darktable, then you can check this box. And you can also... Uh, let it, no, I'll uh, check it. You can also apply some metadata automatically on import. That's these here. Creator, publisher, rights and tags. And there are some presets as well for this. Which are different uh, Creative Commons licenses and also all rights reserved. So if I choose all rights reserved and as creator I write in my own name. There, then this will be be applied to all images that are uh, imported. And these import these uh, options also appear in uh, in the dialog for importing from the camera. 
Or I can also apply tags. I don't want to do that. But it's possible if you want to. So now we can hit open. And the image appears here. These import options also appear in the image image uh, dialog. But uh, then you don't have all the options. It's only this this one with metadata. Since there are no folders and uh, you're only importing one image. So, that was a quick one this time. That's all for today. Next time, I promise I'll talk about some important concepts to keep in mind about how Darktable works. If you like this channel, please hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. I'd also be very happy if you check out my other outlets on the internet. All links are in the description. And if you have something specific that you want me to talk about, please give me a comment. Thanks, bye for now.